A man claimed he built a car that runs on water, then died saying, they poisoned me. If that were true, it could overturn a trillion-dollar energy empire. In the 1980s, Stanley Meyer said his dune buggy hit highway speeds using just a few liters of water. He called it a water fuel cell, a device he claimed split water into hydrogen far cheaper than known physics allows. For context, today's hydrogen production still costs 3T08 USD per kilogram globally. Independent labs tested his inventions. No one reproduced his results. In 1996, an Ohio court ruled his technology fraud. His patents showed no scientific breakthrough, just recycled electrolysis systems. Meanwhile, real hydrogen innovation is driven by billion-dollar national programs. Japan, EU, South Korea, massive electrolyzers, industrial-scale research. Meyer claimed he leapfrogged all of them from a small workshop. Then came 1998. Maya collapses at a restaurant. His last words ignite decades of conspiracy. They poisoned me. But official investigations point to a cerebral aneurysm. No toxins, no foul play. So here's the question that cuts through every myth. If a technology truly threatened trillion dollar industries, why didn't even one independent lab, country or corporation manage to verify it? Evidence decides, belief doesn't.